In this video, I am going to talk about the recent updates of Google Meet. For those who are using personal Google account when using Google Meet, here are the updates. Host controls feature gives host the ability to control settings of the meeting to make it safer. By the way, I am going to use the term host to refer to moderators and teachers who have created the Google Meet link. Going back, where can we see the host controls? At the lower left side of the screen, click the host control symbol. On the menu that appears, host may turn on or off quick access and the share screen and share send messages ability of the participants. When quick access is turned off, everyone who isn't invited must ask to join, including people in the organization. Change background feature is the ability of the host and participants to blur background or change it using pre-uploaded or user-uploaded images. Before joining the Meet, click the Change Background symbol on the lower right side of the video preview. It can also be found at the More options located on the upper right side of the video preview. Here, we can blur slightly, blur strongly, add image to user's background, and select pre-uploaded images. We can also change your video background while in meeting. Click the More options on the lower right side of the screen and select Change Background. Change Layout feature gives hosts the ability to change the number of tiles of video previews on the screen at once. To do that, on the lower right side of the screen, select the More options and select Change Layout. Select tiles to adjust the number of tiles to display. Minimum is 6 and maximum is 49. When Spotlight is selected, the active speaker or shared screen fills the entire window. When Sidebar is selected, the main image is of the active speaker or shared screen. When Auto is selected, Google Meet will choose what's layout for the user. Whiteboard gives hosts the ability to create an online collaborative whiteboard that can be shared to all participants. Here's how to create whiteboard in Meet. Click the More options and select Whiteboard. Pop-up window appears. Choose Start a new whiteboard to create from scratch. If you have a created Jamboard stored in Google Drive, select Choose from Drive to open it. Don't forget to give permission to the participants by going to the share button. Here are some videos I created before that will give you more idea on how to use this collaborative tool. I will also include the links to these videos in the description box so you can watch them later after this video. The next five updates will only be available to accounts of G Suite or Google Workspace Enterprise Edition. So let's continue. Breakout Rooms gives hosts the ability to create smaller rooms for online group activity. Go to the Activity symbol and select Breakout Rooms. Here, hosts can create up to 100 breakout rooms can set the duration, how long the participants will stay in the created breakout rooms, can let Meet decide who will be part of each breakout room, and can also assign members to specific room. Simply click the name, drag, and drop to the specific room. Host can also join each room and may also close the room even if the set time is not yet over. As for the participants, they can move back and forth between their breakout room and the main room. I have a video that shows how I use Breakout Room in my class. I will also add the link of this video in the description box. Polls give hosts the ability to find out what participants think about a certain topic. Go to the activity symbol and select polls from the menu. Ask a question and enter your options. 
here, host can, can launch the poll immediately and can show the results to all and end it. Once the meeting is over, host will receive an email of the polling details. As for the participants, they can answer the poll once and can view its result after the host has shown it to all. Q&A gives hosts and participants the ability to post questions in one common area. To enable this feature, hosts must go to the activity symbol and select Q&A option. At the bottom, click the Ask a Question button. Then type your question. Hosts can mark questions hidden and unhidden can mark questions answered or unanswered, can delete, upvote questions, and can even change order of questions based on what is the oldest, newest, and most popular. Hosts can also view questions based on actions performed to questions. Once the meeting is ended, hosts will receive an email of the Q&A details. Now, where can the participants answer? They can go to the chat box and write the answer there, or the host may also allow the participants to say their answer by unmuting themselves. As for the participants, they can ask a question and they may also delete it. They will also have the ability to upvote questions. Hosts will receive an email of the attendance once the meeting is over. For example, this is the email I received after the meet has ended. When opened, we can see the names, email addresses, duration, time joined, and time exited. This can be opened in Google Sheets if needed. Raise hand is intended to help in increasing participation while not disrupting the flow of conversation. And it is also created to help in preventing people from interrupting one another. Simply click the raise hand button at the bottom right of the screen. As a host, you can click and unclick the raise hand button. You will see a hand icon in the video preview. If presenting in another tab, you will get a sound notification. You will also see all raised hands in the order they were raised. Once done addressing the concern of the person who raised hand, host can press lower hand to remove the hand symbol. As for the participants, they can click and unclick the raise hand button. Thank you for watching until the very end of this video. I hope you have been updated of the new features of Google Meet. If this is helpful, please show your appreciation by liking and writing comments. Please consider subscribing to my channel too. Here are my other videos that might also be of help. Thank you.